Hello everybody, my name is Ali, and welcome to the first video of mine on my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm doing the Tina Day cast challenge um, by Dizzy Whims on Tumblr, and I am probably going to do this in a few different parts. Uh, right now I am just doing the first four. Uh, I have a lot of catching up to do. In fact, I only have eight days left to uh, finish this, and I'm not 100% sure I will finish it. Um, but I decided, you know, I would do it anyways and record myself doing it as a speed cast video. Um, so I really hope you like it. Um, as kind of an introduction, uh, like I said, my name's Allie, and I've tried the whole YouTube thing on and off before, but, um, you know, I never really had the computer to record or really the peripherals, camera, um, or microphone, that kind of thing to do it, but I finally do have that kind of thing, um, and I actually just recently upgraded my RAM, so I'm able to run the game, first of all, with all of my mods, um, but also run OBS in the background, which isn't super RAM heavy, but when your computer's already freaking out because you're using a ton of RAM uh, for a game, your CPU isn't very happy alongside of that, um, and neither is your graphics card. So um, yeah, it's helped out a lot. Plus I got an SSD lately, and that was a nightmare to try and figure out because I'm not uh, particularly tech savvy. I've gotten better. Uh, my partner has taught me a lot about it, but I'm still not super tech savvy. Anyways, um, about the challenge, so this is Casey. She is the first sim in the challenge. She's the cheer captain. Um, and I kind of went for this challenge, I kind of did like very typical American teen stereotypes, you know, what you'd see in the movie, uh, movies, because, you know, at my high school, I graduated a few years ago and like there weren't there were groups, certainly, but they all kind of were just the same. Everybody dressed the same. Um, and I wanted to have more fun with it than that. So I went more down the stereotypical route, um, which isn't to say that, you know, all, um, all people that would de technically fit in these categories dress this way, but, uh, you know, I wanted to have more fun with it. So yeah, this is Casey. She's the cheer captain. She's active, a dance machine, appealing, and squeamish. By the way, I do have some custom traits in my game. I also have custom teen aspirations um, that I'll probably keep in my game um, at least until the high school years pack comes out. Um, probably even then after that, because even though that pack uh, seems pretty amazing, and it does have more aspirations for teens. I, I always want more. So, um, yeah. And then this is the second Sim that I made. He is the rebel. Um, again, very like stereotypical, rebellious, dark clothes, kind of edgy. Um, and I decided with him, I wanted to go more like bad boy route for rebel, but then for the emo, uh, sim I make later, I wanted to do more of, like, e-girl, <laughs> because, like, when I was in middle school, uh, I was very emo, and all I wore were black skinny jeans and, like, band t-shirts. Um, I didn't even have, I had black hair, like, I wasn't, it was post, uh, early 2000s cool emo stuff, it was just kind of boring, uh, plus I was in middle school, so I would have never been allowed to dress the way I wanted to. Um, so now I'm kind of, I would rather do the, like, typical e-girl kind of style, which is actually more the style that I like. Um, but anyways, back to Brandon is this Sim's name. Um, yeah, like I said, he's very, like, rebellious seeming, um, you know, leather jacket, piercings, tattoos, um, uh, all of that. I don't necessarily know how he got the tattoos, but, um, you know, I was trying to also keep in mind that even though I wanted to have fun with these characters and dress them a certain way, they are teenagers, um, 
but I couldn't help but give Brandon some tattoos and piercings. You know, maybe he was able to finesse his friends uh, that are finesse his friends into like signing for him or something like that. I don't know. Um, I mean, I did. I got my first tattoo when I was 17. So it it's possible. Um, but yeah, I also I decided to give him uh, kind of like a smudgy eyeliner. Uh, it felt very appropriate uh, for the dark kind of rebellious look. Um, and I just imagine him like from the content I've seen in the new uh, high school years came back. I've, I feel like he would have the, um, it's not the party animal aspiration, but it's the one where all they want to do is like, it's the one where they are supposed to get caught skipping class and like get detention. And it's, um, I don't know. I don't remember all of the details cause I've only seen some people play the game. Um, but I feel like he'd have that aspiration and like sneak out and like go hang out with his friends. Um, and get into trouble, which is kind of a fun storyline to play. Um, and I'm not actually sure if I'll play with these Sims, but, uh, you know, at the very least, I'll probably put them into my game uh, to have, you know, at the school, because I think that's kind of the whole point of the Tina Day challenge. So, yeah, um, about the pack, I have seen like I said some of the gameplay from it and stuff and the gameplay it seems all right um you know I'm I'm a bit disappointed with like the high school uh as far as content in the high school if that makes sense um the high school just seems like really big and you can't have that many sims and granted like for me, I have my MCCC settings to where I can have more than 20 sims in a zone. But, um, you know, even then, like, when I was in high school, I went to high school with thousands of people. I went to a huge high school. And, like, walking through the hallways was a nightmare between classes. And you were constantly bumping into people and dropping things. And it was a nightmare. And so watching people play this game and there's, like, four sims in the hallway at a time. Um, it's just kind of weird to see that. I do definitely understand, though, that, like, there are limitations to the game. Obviously, you know, not everything can be the way we want it necessarily. And, you know, I have to kind of also remind myself that it's better than The Sims 3 as far as, like, Sims actually being places. Um... But I do also, uh, sorry console players, but I do also hope that there will be some good mods to um, add more to high school. Uh, I'm sure modders will be amazing at that. I was also, I think the idea of like the thrift store and bubble tea shop is really cool. But I kind of wish you could separate them. Um, and again, that's the kind of thing that I'm sure modders will help with. But I feel like, you know, it's it's something that maybe should have been considered and you know mods aren't accessible to everybody uh they weren't accessible to me for a long time um and they've completely changed the game but uh you know i do wish that some of those things were thought out more but i do also understand that you know maybe they um wanted to limit the number of lots which by the way the whole lot thing with this game how there all be so few lots like specifically in the new world there are more lots but like I feel like they did the thrifty thing um and combined them because they didn't want to add another lot um I don't really understand how all of it works but uh yeah I just wish you could separate them because the bubble tea thing it's cool but I don't really see myself using it but I see myself using the thrifting a lot um I just realized I completely talked through uh, our last sim. Her name's Kaylee. Um, she's the band kid. You may have noticed I dressed her just like in a t-shirt and jeans. I don't really know how I would dress a band kid necessarily. Um, I was a choir kid in school. Uh, 
and I just wore t-shirts and jeans and I think that's that's like what everybody else wore um granted that's pretty much what the whole school wore but I didn't really know how to do it so I just decided to do like kind of casual and more like laid back uh for the band kid because I didn't know what to do but uh, the I guess the most band kid thing that I gave to her was the music lover trait, uh, <laughs> which, uh, you know, seemed fitting, but I didn't know what else to give her. I also, I did give her that gray t-shirt. I kind of imagined that, you know, when a lot of, a lot of my friends were in band um, with me, we would all just wear, like, our choir shirts, and, because um, we always got shirts for, like, everything. So we would just wear a choir shirt. So I imagine that maybe she's wearing like a band shirt that says like the name of her high school and the band. Um, it says like, you know, whatever high school band. Um, so that's kind of why I did that as well. Um, and then this is our emo slash e-girl sim. Uh, I really like her. Actually, I ended up giving her a bucket hat, which I thought was super cute. And I'm super excited for the bucket hat that's coming in the high school years pack. Um, I'm super excited, actually, about a lot of the clothes. Uh, I think some of them are really cute. Um, you know, EA did good on this one. <laughs> Normally, they uh, don't do great. Although, I did really like the clothes from the werewolves game pack there was like that full body outfit that had like the half tucked shirt I thought that was really cute um and some of the clothes were really good for rags to riches or um like legacy challenge kind of things so um I did like some of that but <clears throat> I think this pack probably has some of the best like cast and build by um in my opinion that we may have seen ever um uh, I know that's kind of a bold statement, but as far as I can think of right now, it has, you know, some of the best stuff and it has like the most stuff. Um, somebody said there were 10 beds, which is insane, um, but also amazing. I feel like we can never have enough beds. Uh, and you know what? As long as it's not another toilet, like I'm happy. <laughs> um, I do know we got another uh, bathroom stall, but you know, it's not just another toilet, which it seems like uh, EA's favorite thing to do is just add another toilet for every game, probably because they seem like they'd be pretty easy to make. Uh, so, yeah. Also, with this challenge, I decided for everybody's formal wear that I would do, like, prom outfits. Um, so I don't necessarily know if these would be outfits that you'd wear to, like, a formal dinner or something like that, but I imagine, like, they're prom outfits, um, and I actually don't know if at prom the Sims change into their formal or their party wear. I would assume it'd be formal, but mm, the Sims can be weird sometimes, and that is even if they change their outfits, um, <laughs> cough, cough, my wedding stories, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully that uh, all works out. I actually haven't seen anybody do the prom or graduation events yet. Um, I did hear someone talking about career day, and apparently it's kind of lame. Um, but, you know, I feel like that's actually pretty realistic. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, back to the pack again. Um, Oh, the fair. So I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talking about the Ferris wheel and how it's like kind of disappointing that you can't see your Sims in it. Uh, and it's nice that there's like pop ups talking about, you know, your Sims actually in the Ferris wheel. But I would honestly rather be able to see my Sims in the Ferris wheel than have pop ups. Like, I know storyline or whatever, and I'm a sucker for storyline. But I would so much rather there be like an animation for it. And if it's like a couple, maybe they get to the top and they kiss or, you know, I don't know, something like that. Anyways, I am sorry for rambling on forever about nothing this entire video, but I hope you enjoyed it either way. Um, feel free to subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like. Have a great day.